players and officials shaking hands now, all in readiness for this huge fixture. One that's been providing us with some great moments over the years through the NSL and recently in the VPL. Torren lobs forward to Nidus. Using Keenan. Keenan goes into the centre, looking for Vasilevsky at the back, and that wasn't far away at all. Daniel Vasilevsky got the header almost on target, agonisingly wide. Fernando lays it off for Rammer, who's made a good run, goes central. Now Keenan, the flick on. The ball sits up for Keenan. Oh dear. Probably should have done better with that one. The ball sat up for him nicely. He got the left foot to it. I think he was suggesting maybe it had been touched, but. Now Keenan. Right hand into the area. Steps around his man nicely, shoots, and a beautiful shot gone straight in from Joseph Keenan off the left boot. It's 1 0 South Melbourne. The South fans celebrating, the players rushing up to Keenan. Seeing here on the replay, he took on his man, a dinky little ball through, stood up nicely, picked the far corner, and just tucked it away. Perfect finesse by Joe Keenan. Goal scorer. Picks out Vasilevsky. Good ball in Donitas. Well, couldn't get anything behind that shot in the end. Nice little pass there by Vasilevsky. Donitas on target, but not going to trouble the keeper with that. And over the ball. Fernando might be the taker. He launches it, and that's just wide. Not far away there from the left hand upright from Fernando. Got it through the wall. Keeper beaten, but then so was the upright. Set can wait. Give it to Keenan. Keenan surely manhandled and knocked off the ball there. No foul. Chance here for the Knights. They're through on goal. The shot. And there's really no venom in that one. Peter Zoris collecting nicely. Are underway in the second half here, and Melbourne Knights. Desperately searching for that equaliser. But it's South Melbourne with the early running. Fernando, he's through on goal here. What can he produce? The chip, and it's, oh, agonising. It just clipped the bar. Recchia, uses Vasilevsky. Hands up and skips through. He's got Petrovic. Petrovic back for Vasilevsky, got Donitas in the middle. The transfer, Fernando. Fernando again, not far away. Now the Knights, someone needing to step up. Free kick comes in. Not too far away. Catching the netting behind the goals there. The left foot. Through the crowd, and Peter Zeus at full stretch. Now Donitas looks up. Got Vasilevsky in the middle. Nice ball there. Square up from Yusuf Vasilevsky. Oh dear. He only had to pick either side and he went for power. It's a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and the chip. He won't score that way. Excellent ball forward and perhaps just not enough time to set themselves there tonight. Peter Zeus had committed. The lob was on in the end, but far too much on it. Well taken. Zeus commits and cleared off the line. Carl Reckia got the boot to it. See dangerous moments there for South Melbourne at the back. In fact, that might have been a Knights player with his foot on at the end. Rekia. Vasilevsky. In fact, it's Yusuf. Yusuf shoots from rain and just scoop that a little bit. Yusuf's 
coming from the fans, desperate to end this one. Yusuf Yusuf, Rick here. And there's the final whistle. It's a deserved 1-0 victory for South Melbourne. Joseph Keenan's first half strike splits the two teams. Well, I've got the man who led the defence at those nervous moments at the end we were holding on, Steve O'Dor. How does it feel, mate? Yeah, it feels really great. I mean, it was much needed, you know, much deserved 1-0 win. The most pleasing thing about it is probably the clean sheet. Uh, I'm very proud of the boys. They dug deep. There were a lot of leaders out there today, including, you know, Rama, Joey Keenan. Um, even when Joey Yusuf came on, you know, he gave a bit of power up front. And it was just a well, you know, a good solid team performance today. So really proud of the boys. And they dug deep. And I think it was much ne deserved and much needed. Well, we're undefeated so far. Uh, that's the third win on the board now for the season. You must be pleased with um, how we're placed on the table. We're in striking distance at the top and uh, we're looking to hold uh, a good position at the pointy end. Yeah, you know, I mean, we've still got a long way to go and, you know, we can't get ahead of ourselves. You know, it's a positive result. But at the same time, you know, we've got to, we've got to keep, uh, keep focused and uh, just keep doing what we're doing. So, you know, it's, it's positive that we haven't, we haven't lost the game yet. You know, we're going to be heading into the next couple of games with that behind us. And, you know, it, it's going to be a big, big positive thing to have with us. So. Looking forward to it. Steve, well done today, mate, and thanks very much for joining us. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, when the club announced the signing of Joseph Keenan over the summer, we were expecting big things, and we saw a beautiful, calm, composed and classy finish today. Joe, talk us through it. How did it feel getting your first for the club? It's a great feeling. It's always nice to um, open your account early on in the season. So it's my second game now, and uh, luckily ball broke for me down the, left -hand, uh, down the right hand side, which is my favourite side to cut in from. And, uh, bent the ball around the keeper and it nicked the post and went in, so I was delighted. Beautifully done. Now, uh, you had your first full debut for the club last week after getting over uh, your problems with your appendix. Did you feel that you were uh, back to close to 100% fitness today? You played the 90 minutes and you did it really well? Yeah, the day started on a bit of a downer for me. Um, when I arrived, I'd mislaid my card to get in and I had to pay $12 to get into the stadium. So I was a bit disappointed about that. Um, I've got my money's worth though by scoring a goal and coming away with three points, so it, uh, it's ended on a high. I've got winning coach Vaughan Coveney with me, and uh, Vaughan, you won a few games out here yourself as a player, so you know what it's like to win out here, you know it's a tough place to come. Not been our favourite hunting ground in recent years, you must be delighted with the win. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, I think we uh, started off well and um, created a number of chances, and um, you know we, we, we had 1-0 at half time and we were comfortable with that. Um, and at the end, we, you know, we sort of held on towards the end. We, um, you know, we, we probably sat a little bit too deep and, and um, they came on towards us and they had a few chances that, you know, unfortunately didn't go in. But um, you know, we'll take the three points. Definitely a hard place to come and get points. And uh, looking forward, we've got the big Anzac Day clash against Hume coming up. Uh, tough, another tough venue to travel to. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, no, I, I played there last year, actually. I scored my 100th goal, so I've got pretty happy memories there. So hopefully... Uh, you know, we can do it again next week, but uh, in saying that, Andy's um, got a good side at, in Hume and, you know, they'll be hard to beat there. Um, and it's an Anzac Day clash, so it means a lot, you know, just not for football, but for, for uh, you know, for people and everything in general. Vaughan, thanks very much for joining us and well done on the win. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Holmes, now my freedom's finally 